moms. My name is Sandra Graves, and I have started a community for single moms because I believe that single moms are powerful whenever they use that power to be able to help their kids, help themselves, and not be victims. I believe because I was a single mom twice and I learned so many things that I did wrong and a lot of things that I did right. And that's the reason why I opened up this community so that I can help single moms like yourself. It doesn't matter what part of the world you come from, um, this community that I created is for women like you. I don't care if you uh, don't have an education, you're trying to get an education, you are employed, whatever your situation is, whatever your situation is, I want you to understand that there is power in you and there is nothing for you to be shamed of. You know why? Because for you to be shamed of being a single mom means that you are ashamed of your kids. You cannot be ashamed of your kids or of your situation. Everybody have a story and your story is powerful, but you have to learn to tell your story so that your children can learn to tell their story and so that your children can be successful. But let me explain to you. This community of single mothers is of mothers who value themselves, value their children, and also value men. Because I am not one of the sponsors of believing that because we are single mothers, we don't need men. And I am not a sponsor of believing that because we are single mothers, we need a rich man to take care of us. So they're like two extreme of the coin and I am not for either one of them. I, like I said, I was a single mom twice, 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 like this, okay? And the first time was by choice. The second time was by divorce. So yes, I understand what it is to be a single mom. And I am not here to judge you and tell you that how you became a single mom is right or wrong. I am here to help you succeed. I am here to help you learn to appreciate who you are and love yourself. Because the reality is, is that if you don't learn to appreciate who you are, value yourself, how can you teach that to your kids? The reality is, is that when we are eating, we cannot give from the bowl of food that we have if it's empty. Let me repeat that again. If we are going to eat and we want to share our food with someone, but when we look inside of a bowl, it's empty, how can we feed our children? That's one of the things that I had to learn when I was a single mom. I was at the beginning of the first time I was a single mom, I was so focused on being successful and doing this and finding the right man and doing all this kind of stuff. But guess what? The right man wasn't coming. You know why? Because I was not the right woman. My mind was not right. My emotions was not right. Nothing was working right because I did not work on myself. The second time, uh, it was much better. However, I learned, I learned, I learned what I was doing wrong. Because how can we say that a single mom, we are trying to find a man, but men are dogs. There are no good men out there. Men are no good. Or if we are not saying that, we are saying we want a rich man or man to take care of our kids and, you know, take them for everything they have. How can you put those together when you are trying to have a healthy relationship, when you are trying to be your children's hero? It's not possible. So that's the reason why I want to share with you ladies. You might not like what I have to say, but in reality, when the first time I was a single mom, I didn't like what a lot of people have to say. Ah, I did not. 
because that's the problem is that when we are in a bad situation we do not accept criticism we do not accept the ability to learn because sometimes we want to hear hard things from others but it's what we need to hear in order to make change you have to learn to fall in love with change because if you want it or not change is going to come to your life and that's one of the things that i had to learn as a single mom change will happen if i want it or not so i need to embrace change you need to embrace change and that's the reason why i created this community that i would like you to visit the website is www.singlemom.today again www single mom that today and i selected that today because the focus is that only we have today today is everything that we have and if we cannot be the best that we can today tomorrow we will not be in trouble and i keep saying we even though if i'm married because i am so attached and passionate about helping you guys to be able to empower you so that you can empower your children because i found an amazing husband a husband that treat me and my children so wonderfully and i know that it can happen to you too but you have to be able to change your thinking you have to be able to grow you have to be able to be healthy in your mind in your spirit in your soul and in your finances you have to come to a point where you are healthy because the reality is is that we are going to attract everything that we are and if you are not healthy guess what that's what you're going to get in men. So all those men that you are cursing and all those men that you are thinking that they are so evil and they are dogs and they are bad and all that, you are comparing them with yourself. So I invite you to join our community at www.singlemom.today so that you too can tell your story so that you can participate in our live zoom classes seminars workshops community i am going to constantly have where we all going to get together and talk about our struggles talk about our growth now make recommendations give advice to each other be able to present you with resources that is going to help you be better financially as well resources for education resources for remote work i am connecting with people from all over to be able to make this possible so i ask you join me in single mom that today so that today you can start being the better you because that is the goal is for you to be a better version of yourself each and every day so that when tomorrow comes you will be ready to tackle anything no matter what may come your way you will be ready and you will get your children ready to fight any battle to stand up and be proud of who they are